what is up you guys welcome back to my channel or if you are new here welcome thank you so much for being here today i hope you guys are all doing great um i know i am you guys have not already after this video feel free to check out my reaction to the flip that mv just reacted to that i can't even i can't even just go watch the video <laughs> i would really appreciate it because i cannot even put into words what that actually like like that was perfection in this reaction guys i'm going to be reacting to the journey need you pale blue dot and playback i already listened to playback when it came out um i did not know when the album was going to come out of course or when like playback was going to be on the next album so i didn't do a reaction to that but i did listen to it but now a few months later after their concert we finally see playback on the flip that album god i'm so happy if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. And also, we we gotta be together for all of this Luna content, guys. There is a lot that I will be posting. Luna, Kepler, and then next week, it's, we're gonna have... Well, actually, no, Espa this week as well. Uh, Lapilus, Nyon. There's a lot of releases, if you guys have not seen in my uh, community tab. Like all of my reaction videos, guys, especially for Luna, I always do this. So I'm gonna read the description for the songs and then listen to it. So first, The Journey. It's the intro, of course. Luna always does their iconic intros. And they, it says, The girls desire to escape repetitive routines, collect into one energy. Sounds very corona-related. Them moving into a new era them um with everything that they've been through in their lives this is just them through and through their lives and their careers this is them just flipping it and the journey into it now oh also for the whole album it says a new journey for luna going against the grain of a tedious and cloudy daily routine in the completely different space that unfolds after closing and reopening their eyes for a moment the girls dream a sweet midsummer night's dream Okay, okay, and that gives me a lot of context. One year after the release of And, after impre impressing the public on Mnet's competition program, Queendom 2, as they showed off a broad spectrum with limited, limitless, charming transformations in each round, Luna returns with a summer special mini album targeting the season. In light of the season, this summer special album, Flip That, reflects a new, refreshing, and dreamy color that uniquely Luna, different from the fierce images they have shown so far. Furthermore, the homage paid to the Lunaverse developed so far raises anticipation for the next series of lore that will be released afterwards. Orbit? I'm freaking out. And also, guys, of course, besides this reaction, the Flip That MV reaction, I'm also going to react to the stage of Flip That and Pale Blue Dot. When my albums come, I'll do the whole album unboxing and... Oh, I don't know when those are even going to come, but yeah, let's get into the journey, guys. Hey, guys, the journey. Three, two, one. This is the only teaser that I saw, so I heard this. Like the snippet of it. Oh. This is giving me very Euro pop. I love how like blue tree and that like first like 30 40 seconds just that it was just a feeling it was just such a new feeling like you can tell that this is their biggest change since the start of their career so oh my god that was just so ma mystical and like magical and uh, i literally uh, i'm so obsessed with that. oh my god i love this Okay guys, Need You is a modern pop R&B track that impresses with sentimental piano theme and repeating guitar patterns. Okay, 
The track contains the smoothly persuasive vocals that Luna can show off. A calmly progressing chorus melody and rhythmical track expresses a heartfelt gratitude to a precious presence that always lends strength even during a loop of dark days and imparts a message of I will always be waiting for those whom one is thankful for. I, that, I, I can't even like imagine what that's gonna sound like, so let's just go. If the lyrics might be wrong, don't blame me, don't blame the person who made it. It happens, especially because I'm doing this on the first day of the, re of the release, so yeah. Need you. Three, two, one. Underwater, hey, I'm telling to take. Bail gaps in you. Trey, oh my god. The direction of this is like freaking me out Cause I know it's gonna be so good Oh, a soul, oh my god So, oh my god. This feels like a, like a fairy tale. Oh my god. This is giving me very love and live and also and B-side And why not era too? Go on, oh my god, go on, go on, go Yes, 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 Starting and ending this song. This is her song. I already know that one of my closest friends is gonna freak out, and once I talk to her, and once we finally talk about <laughs> Need You, because the amount of cherry in that song, oh my god, that fit her voice so, so incredibly well. That fit all of them so incredibly well. That was such a dream. That was such a fairy tale dream. I love the way it started. I loved the chorus so much it did not feel awkward at all it felt perfect yet it was a complete like shift in the song i would say like their voice tones it felt like it stayed the same but the like emotion of the song changed it became it went kind of from like a little sad but hopeful to like very uplifting oh my god that was so good Please, you guys, by the way, you have to let me know. You have to let me know all your thoughts on these songs. You really do. Comment down below, please. What amazing first full B-side. Now, Pale Blue Dot. I literally cannot wait for the full album because, like, this is four brand new songs, excluding playback and pose. I'm so, so happy, but, like, their next comeback will be a full album. I know it. I'm manifesting it. I thought it was going to be this time, but... I think a mini album was right because they didn't need to do a full album. I think that flip that being the title, 
as I say in like all my videos, like, like perfect, like chef's kiss. Now pale blue dot, I had a lot of suspicions about this just because of the name. I love Luna songs that have like a lot of like spatial references like Satellite, um, Rendezvous, 18.6Y, Universe. Okay, Pale Blue Dot, a dance pop track. Okay, good, good, I'm so happy. I just, uh, dance pop are like my favorite. That projects the Pale Blue Dot, the photo of Earth taken by Voyager 1 onto human life. It expresses the thought that the Earth is no more than an impossible, humble, and small dot in an immense universe. And so we should shed the many worries and concerns that burden us and it reflects the value that as small and tiny a planet as this may be, still seeks to be true to the present to pursue love and joy and to live a meaningful life love and also like i just love oh, just god bless just this group is just so i just love their references to everything and just how like everything at the end of the day revolves around luna the moon the stars the orbits cosmos cosmic everything okay guys pale blue dot three two one I cannot tell where the song is going, I'm so excited. Oh! Heejin, oh my god, from boy. BB, give her a line, damn it. album feels like a journey it does feel like an adventure it feels like i like i am exa i am completely understanding 
and I'm going along with like the whole flow of this album, I would have listened to Pose right between Need You and Pale Blue Dot. Um, I feel like Pose was just put in the album just because of Queendom, but I feel like it wouldn't, maybe it wouldn't have been the song that would have, that would have been on the album, but either way, thinking about Pose in it too, and just the heightened feelings that it gives, like every single song, as soon, it, there's just a part during it, I mean throughout the whole song, but like, there's just like a specific part, mostly like in the choruses, which I think Luna is so good at giving such a good chorus that you will not expect. Um, they're just so hopeful. They're so brave. They're so ugh, pale blue dot. That was so perfect. That was so incredible. That was that felt like dang dang dang, but twenty twenty two, new and improved, fresh Luna. It's like Dang Dang Dang's like older sister, I would say, definitely. Because Dang 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 is a little too cute. This was cutesy, but it also felt very like chic, which they really owned as a part of like a concept in their songs for a long time now. A long time now. Hey guys, we have last but not least, wow, what a perfect ender to the album playback. I already listened to this, like I said, guys, but I will do it again just because it's the official audio of it and why the hell wouldn't i okay playback a medium tempo pop track that blends a message that the members wish to tell the fans and a sentimental melody line for cozy and lovely charms the lyrics contain the memories of enjoying sitting together around sitting around together under the evening sunset and the scenery of those who picture new memories that are still to be made this song if you have not already listened to it when it first came out guys <laughs> I mean, my reaction is gonna tell it all, but this song makes my heart, like, swelter. Like, it is, it is one of my favorite Luna songs, for sure. One of my favorite Luna ballad-type songs. I know it's a medium-type pop track, but I would put this more in the ballad-ish Luna section. Especially because they usually do that for their last song on the album, like, Where You At, Um, You Are, you know? So, yeah. Playback, guys. Let's get into it now. Oh my god. Playback. Three two one this song by the way before this uh, they start singing i just want to say it is like such a royal type feeling song it just makes me feel like i'm in like a fairy castle type thing Oh my 
guys haven't watched when they perform this in their concert, the stage is so pieces of works 2000% if I were to if I were to take albums as holes <laughs> the XX was always just my favorite album we're going to have to see how this is gonna play in because XX is still just as strong to me as it was three years ago there's no changing that literally no changing that but this album is absolute perfection and it definitely 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 could be something that beats it especially just because of how obsessed i am with of course flip that of course flip that literally the best title track that they have now i'm saying i said that off the first listen like i love butterfly i love hi hi those are my two favorite titles of them like music wise but flip that is every single sing it's like it's like the best thing that they could have ever done this is so them from the journey to need you to pale blue dot to playback i'm just i feel overwhelmed <laughs> I, I feel so overwhelmed because i feel like each song had enough power emotion um vocals production every single thing like every single thing luna related like please if you haven't go watch my reaction to my other luna's luna videos um I don't think if I don't know if I mentioned in this video or not. God, this has been so long at this point. It's been like 25 minutes or something. But Luna is my number one group. They are my alt group. So the respect that I have for them in all aspects is like, like my head can't my head can't hit the ceiling if I'm high enough. Please, guys, tell me what you thought about this album. <laughs> Perfection. Perfection. It's now my new favorite album, up there with XX and Plus Plus. Um. But 100%, I'm not going to leave out some of my favorite tracks from the earlier albums made recently, such as like, Wow, You Are, um, Oh Yes I Am, Dang Dang Dang. Um, I could go on and on. I really could go on and on, but I'm just saying that like this album is definitely 100% easily one of their best. Easily one of their best, if not the best that's how i want to end this reaction i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope if you are not an orbit or if you're not a luna fan or if you have not listened to luna and this is your first time with me i really hope that you're as pleased as i am this is like unbelievable what they are releasing at this point i i ever since pre-debut even before they debuted i've had just full honesty in what they're going to release is going to be something that's through the roof like amazing and this is just like the height this is let's just see how this comeback is gonna do i have so i just know that everything is gonna go first place first place first place this is that 200,000 200, let's make it happen orbits let's make it happen thank you so much for watching guys if you made it to the end of this video i really appreciate you even if you didn't that is completely fine but if you did thank you for watching me speak so much but you know with luna i can write a book do you want that because i'll do it i will see you guys in the next luna related reaction kepler uh girl group all that type of stuff this week is gonna be busy take care guys thank you so much luna i love you with all my life you that's obvious at this point <laughs>